You're probably gearing up for the 2023 wedding season. I wanted to give you guys a quick look at what we're using and what is inside our wedding photography camera bag in 2023. Here's my main bag. So this is the Think Tank messenger bag. This stays on me pretty much all day. Inside, we got my main camera, Sony a7 III. All right, love this, love this little camera. Uh, we also have my backup camera, which is a, a, a Sony a7 III. <laughs> All right, we use the a7s. We have four of these. My wife shoots on a7 III as well. We don't use the a7s or the a7R series because honestly, these guys get the job done. They're great, great price point. Never had any issue with them. Gonna keep using them until I feel like I should just move on to another camera. Uh, as far as lenses, uh, we have the Sigma 50 millimeter 1.4 art. All right, this is kind of the main main lens for me. Uh, we also have a Sony 2.5 40 millimeter lens. Uh, this is a really great little candid lens, honestly. I love, I love this tiny little lens. We also have the uh, Sony FE 85 millimeter uh, 1.8, 1.8. Uh, love this as well. So I, as you can see, I primarily shoot primes. I don't really like going wider than 40 millimeters, uh, 35s and, 24s or 20s, don't, they don't, it's not my not my style, so I kind of stick with uh, 40 millimeter or wider. The 40 is actually really a great balance between like a 35 millimeter and a 50. This is kind of my rotation here for the entirety of the day. Inside my bag here, I also have a Godox V1S. This flash is amazing, lithium ion battery, uh, rechargeable. I can get like three weddings on one charge. It's wonderful, it's wonderful, it's wonderful. With that is a, uh, is a dome modifier light, okay? Um, so the dome is magnetic. I have a warming gel inside here, and then this actually just attaches magnetically to the top of the flash. It's great, it's perfect. Uh, so that's what we're using for modifiers. I also attach a little bounce card to that as well to just push the light forward. Uh, that's actually really what's inside. That's the main gear I'm using. Some little odds and ends in here as well. We have a dust blower. Gotta have one of these, all right. We also have two memory card cases. These are the Pelican cases inside, obviously. Bunch of memory cards. And then we just have some batteries and odds and ends. Oh, uh, one of the great little little tools uh, is this clamp. This clamp's amazing, all right? Why do I have a clamp in my bag? Well, the clamp really is for uh, the wedding dress, all right? So you pinch the back of the wedding dress with this clamp and it's going to tuck that fabric and make it seem like there's a waist to that dress. That is what is inside my main bag here, okay? Let's move on to my wife's bag. I forgot to mention that I'm using a dual harness Koiro strap. Um, this is from a Koiro shop, all right? I linked it below. Um, I love this little strap. Uh, sometimes it's kind of weird to get on. I put it on backwards all the time, but dual wielding cameras is uh, so, so helpful. All right, what's in my wife's bag here? So uh, her bag and actually the other bag that we use are both uh, from Brevity. These are the Brevity jumpers. These bags are amazing. Really affordable as well. They're great when you're not shooting weddings and you just want to take a, like a quick day trip somewhere. Love these bags. Cannot recommend them enough. Inside my wife's bag, we have some similar items, right? I mentioned the, the Sony a7 III's. In here, she's using a, I think this is a Black Rapid Pro strap. Um, that's the strap she uses. I hate this strap, I'm gonna be real, hate this strap, but she loves it. So, whatever she wants, it's her camera, it's her, whatever. She's using, again, Sony a7 III, Sony a7 III backup. Her main lens, though, is a Canon 24 to 70. We switched from Canon over to Sony a couple years ago, and uh, this, this lens is uh, not going anywhere because this is an L series. 2.8, 24 to 70 from Canon. We are adapting it with a Sigma MC11 adapter. It works really, really well. So we're just gonna keep shooting Canon because the glass is great. That's what we're using here. Uh, this, is, this, is her main, this is her main lens. And then in her bag here is a 14 to 24, 2.8 from Sigma. Honestly, she doesn't use this at all, but it's in her bag because it doesn't fit in mine. And I bust this out on the dance floor to get some really wide angle shots. Uh, really fun to get like right up in people's business on the dance floor and it makes for some really cool looking photos. So 14 to 24, uh, for the dance floor, from, uh, this is a 2.8 from Sigma, so love that lens as well. And then in the top pouch, we have, again, we have some masks, always good to have those. And the same V1S flash from, uh, from Godox. In the beginning of our career, we bought like cheap Yangnuo flashes, had to buy double A's pretty much every week. They would break the battery power. Once it got down to like 40%, it just didn't fire really consistently. These things fire like every single time. So I highly recommend the Godok V1 series. Let me show you now the inside of the flash bag. We have like a reception kit here. So we'll show you that. Reception bag. This is the, again, Brevity Jumper in my favorite color, which is like an army green. Uh, inside here, we have the mag mod gear. We have a mag bounce, and then we have two uh, mag spheres or mag boobs, as we like to call them. Let me get the other one out. It's great. So that's what we're using to modify uh, the flashes that I'm gonna show you in a second. But before we get to that, 
I have two of almost the same exact lens here. We're using two 70 to 200s. This one is a Canon L series f 2.8, and this one is a Sigma 2.8 something or other. I, I don't know, I bought it secondhand from a groom actually. Both of them are adapted with a Sigma MC11 adapter. This one works really, really well. This one uh, sometimes does not work, but if it doesn't work, I don't actually need it. It's just nice to have sometimes to both have a 70 to 200 when we're shooting a ceremony. Ceremony is the only time we use these. Great to have, but if we didn't have them, we'd still be able to get by. In this pouch, we also have a uh, Ivizi G2 LED bicolor RGB light. Uh, why do we have this? Well, we use off-camera flash for pretty much everything, but uh, I like to put this on my camera when we're doing sparkler exits. Uh, sometimes I'll use a flash, but a lot of the times I'm just throwing this on my camera. Makes it really, really easy. So that's what's in that pouch there. And then getting down to final pouch, we have some odds and ends here. First, we have a friction arm. Kind of confusing to use when you are first starting out. And we like to add sometimes a flash to this uh, this end here. Get a flash off the floor if we're in a weird area, if we're on a weird dance floor and we don't want someone tripping over our flash, we'll put the flash on this, get it up really high, get it off the floor. And uh, this has come in handy a few times. Uh, so that's a friction arm. Uh, we also have uh, the Godox 8200s, and I think one of them is actually an 8200 Pro. These things are amazing. They're a little pricey, but totally worth it. These changed our life once we got these. Can't recommend these enough. And we attach the Mag Bounce or the uh, Mag, Mag Boob to these as well. Point them right at your subject. Bounce it at your subject. Great looking light. Again, rechargeable batteries. They pop in and out. And uh, again, we can get like I don't know, three weddings out of a single charge. So this has saved our life. With that, we also have an off-camera flash uh, trigger. This is the uh, Godox X Pro S, and uh, this will just trigger these flashes here. Very simple to set up. It's really about it. Boom, 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 okay? And then in here, we also have, this is like, the, this is the key, this is the hack here, is these uh, earplugs, because the dance floor will wreck your life. It'll wreck your eardrums, and uh, you won't be able to hear anything on your ride home. So definitely get some ear protection, some earplugs. Didn't learn that until it was, until it was too late. I have two additional items that we're adding to our kit this year, and that is some film. Two film cameras. First one is a 35 millimeter. This is the Minolta X700. Love this, really small, compact, lightweight, can just kind of sneak in, take a quick shot, shot or two on 35 millimeter. And uh, this has been really fun to use. I've used that one or two weddings in 2022. Excited to use that moving forward. And the newest addition, which I haven't even used yet, is the Mamiya 645 Pro. I'm super pumped to use this because it's a medium format camera. Gonna whip this out for portraits. Uh, probably won't be using these at every single wedding, but this is definitely a fun addition to the kit this year. Uh, look, guys, gear is one thing, but you still have to know how to shoot. You still have to think a little bit differently and out of the box. Everybody's using the same gear now, right? If you wanna be a different type of photographer, if you wanna think differently, if you wanna approach weddings differently, I highly recommend that you go watch this video here.